Cage Rock Castle from AZ Farms. Today I'm getting ready to plant a bunch of citrus trees. And because I have gophers, I make wire baskets to put in holes with the trees, which protects that tree's roots long enough to allow that tree to become established. And once that tree becomes established, the gophers really can't do much damage to it. Now the size of the wire basket is going to be dependent, of course, on the size of the tree you're planting. The wire basket I'm making today will accommodate everything from a one gallon to a five gallon potted tree. I got a four foot roll of chicken wire measured off to about four feet, it doesn't have to be exact. Now when you make your cut, you're going to want to cut right in the middle so you get two loose wires. Here's a tip, you notice I left one of the wires attached right here. And what that's doing is it's basically holding that wire back for me. If I were to cut it all the way through, I'd have to get weights or something or rocks or something to hold that down. Because the next thing we're doing is we're gonna split this piece right in half. So you're going to end up with two pieces of wire to make two baskets. And what you do next is you bring them together, overlapping by two, two of these cells, and you have these loose wire, these loose wires at the end, these tails. And I'll just wrap these around on each side. Now you're going to end up with a non-cut side and a cut side. Take the cut side and fold it in. Take the wires, wrap them around, turn it like this, flatten this end, bend it down, and again use the cut wire to just loop it around. Same thing on this side. Now take your basket, stick it on the ground and put your foot in there. And you're gonna just flatten and compress all of that loose wire and form the bottom of the basket. And that's it, one wire basket. Now when you put this in the ground, you're going to want to make sure that the top of this basket is just below the surface of the ground. You don't want it too deep because gophers could, could migrate in there and you don't want it up sticking up above the ground too much because you're going to be tripping on it or hitting it with a weed whacker or something. You stick this in the ground and you plant your tree like you normally would. It's that simple. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today. You know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.